So hi, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to connect Google Server Microsoft with Power BI. Here you can see server option is in direct go direct option. So you will have to laptop something. So I'll copy this name here and go name and paste. You can keep option name and import. So import is what and we directly and my name and password here then it will connect to my laptop for so can support so it's showing support value here we have all option right so this inscription support is just for my morning kind of are unable to but if you go to the those option right those option is have this top and go part it will connect this part and here I can see database is there because I had not created any database in so what I'll do I'll go to database go to site or again and go to my SQL put my SQL again and then i'll put my laptop server name you can see it's the basic so what's the problem i do not have any database i'm going to connect my database in so just putting my password here so it, it, it will connect to my all the data so you can see on the left hand side, i'm having data so i do not have any so all these system database are there now on none custom data set so in order to connect the dots i'll have to create custom data so how would i create so i'm going to click database new database will give my custom name that is such in this you can give your own and click on ok then I'm going to write the query for change the database name here i'm having some then I'm going to click my right so you can see i have created this person and now i'm going to create, create this person values so let's say first person id is saxena last name sachin and the uh, address is something nearby new delhi and city i'll keep meda right so within these values i'm going to insert some values insert some one row single row and then click on execute option can see now this option will be pop up in power bi if i'm going to close this option get server now sql server sql server will be there so i'm going to paste that one name going to laptop option go to the property and here i am having this laptop name i'm going to click on this okay you can copy this value and circle paste on the server and click okay right can you see now this database is the person's table i can go for the evaluating person pers uh, evaluating position it will take so much time so i don't right it's evaluating for you compressive it right so uh, meanwhile i'm going to insert second option database so this second values will be there in second row will be there in my database namely person my table namely persons and i'll keep different values now so this values shoot one affected can you see now two values are there once you will refresh you will get kumar vijay bareli p in the second row also right now suppose you want to add more values here so you get more values so let's say we have created the more value let's say this three third value which really so i had inserted this third value right so this is what this is just kind of third row where we have all these third really and let me show where we have inserted so we have insert third value in our position so this is going to connect third values and i'm going 
fetch this sum, right? It's going to fetch this, and you can it as per this data set, you can create the uh, city versus first name, or you can see and the particular values ID, and as per your deed, you can create any bar chart or column chart, right? So, this is fundamental of your how you can connect these.